Okay, we're going to test the light apps RAM management of the Google Pixel 3a XL. It has the same amount of RAM with its big brother, the Pixel 3 XL at 4 gigabytes, but it has it has a much more inferior processor at 670 versus 845 of the Snapdragon variant. Now I already preloaded some apps. So I have my Instagram here. I have my Facebook here. And I'm I'm uploading actually Google Photos. So let's try opening some apps. So I have three apps. This is number four. Podcasts. Okay, let's go for YouTube. Let's go to library. Okay. Then let's go to Chrome. Chrome always reloads, but at least let's see if it keeps the position. So I just remember the iPhone 4. Let's go to drive. Let's go to the bottom. Okay, now take note I'm doing this at 6% battery. So I'll do a battery review later. It's actually quite impressive. What happened to... Okay. What happened to VLC there? Maybe some bugs or something. Then Google Classroom. YouTube Studio. Now playing. Music. Songs. Discord. Okay, the apps are loading slower. That's the limit of the Snapdragon 670. And Play Store. Okay, the updates are taking longer. Okay, settings. I don't want to share my contacts, so what else can I... Okay, that will do for now. Instagram, one. Facebook, two. Google Photos, three. Podcast, four. YouTube, five. Chrome, no, that's still six. It stayed there. Drive, seven. VLC, despite the bug, eight. Classroom, nine. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with the navigation. Uh, YouTube Studio, 10. Now playing. Yes, it did. 11. Play music, 12, Discord, 13, Maps, 14, Play Store, 15, and Settings, 16. And in addition, I'm using my recording software. So it was able to keep 16 apps in the background. Now this is the problem. The problem is when I start taking an HDR picture, okay, see, I'm gonna take a picture here, let's see. Okay, let it process. Sorry about my hands. Okay, hmm, good low light shot. Then, Okay, there you go. It started reloading. So this is the problem. When you start taking a picture, it will force close the apps. So the camera uses a lot of resources and that's the limit of the four gigabytes of RAM. Okay, this time we're going to do a heavy app RAM management test for the Google Pixel 3a XL. So I'm going to use Real Racing 3, Call of Duty Mobile, and I will try to play YouTube HDR video. So Real Racing 3 is here. I'm still getting used to the gestures, I'm sorry. Then this is Call of Duty Mobile. 
Okay, so we're going to load Call of Duty Mobile. Then we'll see if Real Racing 3 is still in memory. So I'm, let's say I'm playing Real Racing 3, then I want to play Call of Duty Mobile. I want to see if my Real Racing 3 is still in the background. Now again, this is the weakness of the Snapdragon 670 processor. Games are loading slower compared to top range processors. Okay, so here we go. Now, okay, let's go back to Real Racing 3. It's here, good. Let's go back to Call of Duty Mobile. Okay, good. Now, if we suddenly want to watch video, okay, let's say HDR, I want to watch a video. Now my game should be in the background. Okay, so I'm playing 1080p. 60 FPS HDR video. Now let's see if my games are still in the background. Hmm, Call of Duty Mobile is still here, good. Now let's see Real Racing 3, and it's still here. So, it actually did better than the Pixel 3 XL. The Pixel 3 XL was not able to handle Real Racing 3 and Call of Duty Mobile when I started playing HDR video, but with the Pixel 3 XL, it kept them in memory. So that's impressive. And the video is still here. But I have to load. So it's still not bad. Not bad. Oh, okay. Now, that's where it starts to reload. So I guess it can sustain keeping apps, keeping games in the memory for a while. But... Uh, when you're trying to download a lot of data from the 1080p HDR video, Call of Duty Mobile suddenly has to reload. So that's the limit of the 4 gigabytes of RAM and the limited specs. So at first it's okay. I think at first it did better than the Pixel 3 XL, but towards the end it showed the limits. And of course, games are loading slower because of the inferior Snapdragon 670 uh, chipset. And let's see if Real Racing is here. Okay, okay, at least you got Real Racing 3. So, okay, I guess it's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Okay, let's stop the video now.